Well, it's unfortunate to see this thing come to a close, but you know how summer vacations are. They're never long enough to really get going. But hey, the time we've had here is incredible, and we've enjoyed what we've seen. So I guess the only thing left to do is just see a very small amount of it left. So welcome back to this final installment of the miniseries. I feel like this is the best place to stop. And even though, even though there is an hour time limit on my watch right now for this specific episode, this is going to be going on for two developments. Can I do a two character development and then a UDG character development for the Sakura Vital Room? So that's good stuff. Let us see what this one penny gives us, if anything. Hopefully something nice. I bet it's going to be someone cool. No, it's a present. It's not even a someone. It's just a present. Shame. We can only be present for so much things. I did some battling off screen, but that's not important. Okay, so we did our Kyoko because she was necessary. I could have picked someone over here, but now we have one for every character in Trigger Happy Havoc, at least. So I could be anyone I wanted, even Monokuma. So I just want to do a, uh, another two of them. Yeah, another one from two and another one from UDG. I think the best one to start with would be the one from UDG and I think it's self-explanatory why I'm picking Kuroko Utsugi because I believe her to be the best warrior of hope. No cap. Uh, yeah. And these two events they're not going to be focused on you know building up a character for battle. Thank you. It will just be events, events, events until you know shit happens. If, it'll be incidental mostly, whatever. I don't know why Madman decided to make this camp so long, but at least there's no, there are like no adults. Well, you know, it's just a one. Just the Hiroko. Maybe she'll see him, maybe she won't. Depends. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Alright, just put a hold on this stuff, because nef nothing can ever go right, truly. And we're back with Kodoko starting off our adventure. I'm sorry, but apparently I had to be called away just to confirm a reservation for a carberry. <laughs> Important, I know. Adding on that gross spare. Oh, lucky chance! Double move! I forgot she was a balance, so we're getting cards up the way, so. <laughs> we can go everywhere, but nowhere at the same time. Okay, we've got another French movement, so we're good for this front to start off with. <laughs> I forgot that she had that line, honestly. Huh? What? I got something on my face? Don't think I'll show mercy to a kid if you're looking down on me. My mom. Oh, so you noticed! I mean, that's kind of why I said it so loud. Seriously? I have something to ask you, but you don't seem to be easy to talk to type. <laughs> so I figured I'd lighten the mood first. <laughs> Not necessary. What you want with me? Are you really a high schooler? <gasps> Are you a mysterious transfer student we never knew about from the elementary school? Right? And we're about to embark on a summer adventure of a lifetime or something along those lines. Jeez. So you really were looking down on me? You saying I look like a kid? Just answer the question, please! I want to have to fire an inquiry once we return! Bastard! I'm a high schooler, is that enough for you? Okay, no need getting so worked up with a kid that I gotta show an adult restraint. Oh, so you aren't a transfer student. Here I am getting my hopes up. <laughs> Even if you're on around a grown up age, I guess there are people like you who don't seem like adults. You... You're just begging me to fly off a handle, ain't you? You little brat. No, she's a kid and I'm an adult. Don't play along with the cheap taunts. Aww. I'm not begging for anything! I don't start arguments or do anything already! I'm just thinking how impressed I am and how everyone should be like you. That's all. Huh? My Can I call you a little big brother for you, Hiko? Or do you not like that nickname? What are you saying? You, little, you really are begging for it! Damn it! No, don't go ahead, don't go ahead. Huh. You don't seem to like it, even though it really is a compliment. I want to stay for as a kid forever myself. <laughs> yeah, just like you, but. <laughs> Behave yourself, damn it! I know you're trying to piss me off. Wow, what an interaction. That's for Yuhiko for you. Also, don't do anything R-rated, huh, Kodoko? Is that the entire truth that you're speaking? I don't feel like it is. <laughs> Let's not go into it. Hey. No, oh, there she goes. Hey, Himigo. Hey. It's your man. Oh, good grief! How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> right, that Himiko. So, what's your next show? 
Did somebody mention a show? By the way? If she's the ultimate magician, does that mean it's a magic show? Yo. Yep, bingo. Wanna see it too? My name's no, Katenko not especially. Hatsune. I'm used to flashy performances. Okay. For your information, that's just my official title. Tremble, for I am the ultimate mage. <laughs> ah, so that's your shtick. Having a solid character is important for any show. <laughs> no, I really am a mage. My, my. Right, right. So I know how important it is to stay in character. So I have been so insistent. <laughs> I get the feeling you don't understand, but whatever. Hmm. Anyway, I plan to start a big car after we graduate from the <laughs> That's the shit voice. Oh, God, I seem siblings seem to really enjoy my show, so I'll be sure to get them VIP tickets. Huh? huh? Whoa, serious? Thanks a bunch. Hmm. I uh, kind of lost track, but that should be about as many as that last show. What was that? Yeah, I see. But there's a chance there might be more. VIP tickets. So you gave me some kids special treatment? That seems awfully arrogant of you. But I was planning on making children's tickets cheap for this tour. Plus they get front row seating. Hmm. And every kid gets a VIP treatment. I want to make as many children smile as possible. Seriously. Now that is awfully commendable of you. Then if you want to change your mind and want to see magic, you're welcome to come to my show. Hmm. I'm still preparing the flyer, so I'll send you one once we're in. Himiko show is pretty killer. Speaking of which, I hope that tiger makes an appearance. Yeah. Himiko, hmm. so you're a fan of my tiger. That's fine, but will you watch my magic too, right? Truth is, a tiger. If you have cute animals instead of something scary, I might just decide to come. No. My tiger is cute. Watch and VMA. Anyway. Right, right. I'll consider it. I don't forget that is. Um. Quit being such a brat. Jeez, just admit that you want to see the dance show. Shush! It's better to leave people like her alone rather than prod her too much. <gasps> I can't hear you, you know. You're both so bad at acting like grown ups. But then again. But I kinda like you too. So I'll think about seeing a magic show. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I mean, just look at that outfit that Kodoko's wearing. It's very similar, or, or pretty close to similar to what Kyoko's wearing. Because I commented it on last time. It's almost concerning. Is that two songs going on at the same time? I don't think there is, no. It's just my my mind playing tricks on me. Oh, whoa. I always feel like I'm gonna take a pee. Nah, that's, that's stupid. Okay, so I got the level 4 at least. I'm good with that. We'll battle once, and then I'll pick up the scroll from the middle. And maybe I'll get some money from it, I don't know. Oh yeah, bring up the speed. Almost forgot about that. Kodoko attacks, punches a mammal in the face with her bare foot. Bear fight face face fist yes one move that might work actually I've got these cards and I'm nothing to do with them I'm so sick and tired of everybody having two cards go down please there you go thank you Angie you have the one move so I can move over to the other thing as well if I wanted to yeah punch 51 damage and then I will use the one to land on the friendship event and then if I do I will land on the shot with a good roll next turn. I actually have the five, so I can go one, two, three. No, I can't. Um, wait. Oh no, I already picked up the five. Damn it! I wasn't paying attention. Fine, whatever. Here I am in the shop. Like that. Tigers roll to something that I want here. It's better than having nothing, my dear. Ba -ba -ba beep boop deep doop deep doop doop. <laughs> oh gosh, be careful what I'm doing. I'm just filling my watch behind the scenes. And it felt like it just didn't, it just completely broke the class, whatever, I didn't. At least. Oh, you're. No! Yeah, I turned around and there's a nasty x rated chip! Yeah! Being alone in a swimsuit with a pervert is not my idea of a fun time! No, it no, really no, no, is. No, 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 no. Hey, hey now, even though I watch my language in front of kids, all heavy now. <gasps> oh, so you spill fuel of impurity all around everyone else? No! You admitted it, so it's death without trial, and I'll die in the most brutal way imaginable. I mean. <laughs> huh? Kids these days are rough. Well, elementary school is always like this. <laughs> Forgetting your childhood is a surefire sign that you're close to being the worst kind of adult. <laughs> you're a special kind of filth. So it'll be best that the world roasted you now like the pig you are. Um. Oh, <laughs> you really are a spicy one. My heart ain't unbreakable, you know. Hmm. If you say such hurtful things with no regard to others, you'll become the worst kind of adult. Seriously. I never expected a decent result from you. So what? Is it gonna rain fire and brimstone next? <laughs> Look, if you keep bullying me, I won't make any more snacks for you. No! Oh no, somebody helped! Fixed up kitty for whatever passerating wants! 
Just so you know, I'm not gonna chase you. <laughs> Just take it off. Well, sir. No, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Yeesh, and I've done things to your kids. They really deserve this treatment. Your very existence is a bad influence on kids. Take this opportunity to reflect on your behavior. Yeah, punch him, Kotoko. Punch him in his face. I know he deserves it. It's good stuff there. Roll. To... I don't want to go to the card spot necessarily. I want to see if I can level up a little bit more. So, hello, Ibuki. Nice to see you. And let us pick up... Whatever. Yeah, 86 damage. Wow, that is good stuff, especially for level 5. Level 5 specifically. I had the double move, so I can do that instead. Guess it's gonna roll a fat one, though. God. Predictability is a killer. It always is, isn't it? Goodbye. God. Super now that's why I call it a Kodako production. It's the greatest, cutest swimsuit in the world! Yeah. Yeah, it's super cute. And as I figured, your former child actor, you can give it a whole new look. Aww. Please don't talk about the past, it's bad menace. I see. Sorry, I couldn't help it. I was reminded of the summer gag episode of the show you were in. And I told you, it's bad manners! Excuse Plus, that you. wasn't a swimsuit, it was a character costume. Why did this swimsuit remind you of that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. they're both super cute, okay? Uh, there are pros and cons of parents having the child cosplay, and I respect the child's wishes. Yeah. But I can kind of understand wanting to play press up with them. You're right. If I had a child like you, I'm sure I'd have fun picking up clothes for you. <laughs> I don't like having things picked out for me. Well, On days when I was dressed up really cute, bad things tended to happen. What? Just kidding, do you think I meant it? I am good at acting after all. <laughs> oh god, I was stuffed. I, I'm in the same boat. I was startled for a moment. I've just stepped onto a minefield. So. Just please be careful. Adults can never tell when someone might sh something might shatter a child's heart. Mm hmm. There is a reason why Ultra Despair Girls is not a part of Decadence. However, if Decadence does sell well, they might consider porting Ultra Despair Girls to the Switch. So. On this final episode, I think it's apt to say, Hey, if you like what you see, go ahead and pick up the game for yourself. Even if it's just to experience the games on their own for the first time. Yeah, I know you're going to have to go to a different system if you want to get the actual order. And you still need to divert from the Switch anyway if you want it to go in order to go to watch an anime. But it's still the case. It's worth doing. These are some great games, and apparently the dialogue in this game is still on point. Which I should have known by now, but I guess not. Defeated all enemies. I did it! 450 Java coins, and 7. Opened up an island, and wander through it. Well, but I got the triple card right, triple move. I think what I had, yeah, triple move. Let's see where I go. Nice 2! 4, that's a lot of spaces actually. I can go anywhere I want. With no consequences. So you had the iron rod, which is 40, and I, d I don't have any money entirely. I can land on almost everything on this island. Actually, I think I can land on everything on this island. That's pretty good. I'm gonna choose this level up space instead. I know I'm not going for level ups mainly with this path, but might as well. We're up by 3, wow. Level 10. That's real good. Nice 6! Good shit. Very nice. I don't have the money still, so let's go to a friendship event. Yay, friendship! Hey, it's been um... a while, Kotoko. Do you remember me? <laughs> we were on a variety show together once. My, my. Of course I remember you. There isn't a girl who doesn't know all about you. But then again... But I don't know about any variety show. That's all in the past. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up something you'd rather forget. <sighs> we retired months ago. It's all in a lifetime ago. That doesn't stop people from calling me a little older drama and dragging me here, though. Seriously? If not for Monica being with me, I would have fiercely objected. Um... When I was your age, seven months really did feel like a lifetime. But... But as you get older, time starts to fly by in the blink of an eye. Okay. Maybe that's why those around you have so much trouble keeping up with your life. Aww. Yeah, well, it's really annoying. I'm a normal girl now, darn it! Um... Being a normal girl must be what makes you happy, huh? Yes. I never, ever, you never even wanted to be famous. Anyway. You're in the industry, so I'm sure you understand. Okay. That's true. For me, it was a long sought after dream that was finally about the grass. But. With that said, I don't blame you at all, and I respect your decision. <laughs> as long as you smile, you made the best choice. You made the best choice. Congratulations. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, do I need to explain what uh, the specificities of Kodako? And why she's the best warrior of hope, uh, I don't think I need to. But you know, 
I, I think I've already said it, but if you haven't checked it out already, go ahead and check out UDG on your own time. It's a very nice game. And it is very entertaining, too. It, I mean, I mentioned it in the discussion video all that time back, two years ago at least. It is worth looking at, because it's the, my favorite Resident Evil game. Yeah, like, honestly, kind of is. Oh, there you go. I thought for a second I didn't have anything, but no. That's why I have my breath held, because I was drinking at the same time. Coins! 1890! Oh, and is that the event now? Yes. Some ideas you have for unlocking new potential in my talent. Aww. People are always wanting the old me. Thankfully, I've had enough of it. So this is basically a vacation to me. I'm going to have a blast away from all the grown-ups. Take a nap and amuse some park. Sampling the food here is on my list. I want to go take a nap. Hopefully, Monica's there. Oh no! Ah, oh, what fine weather! Even if this is about as cliche of an island as you can get. Now then. And thanks to that, I'm gonna get in some nap time. Are you into naps too? Indeed. I like looking around in the beach isn't by nature as well. And if it changes, and if changes in this world affect our bodies and reality, <laughs> I wouldn't want to risk getting a turn. I'd never slave my parasol. I see. So you're super self-conscious. That was a time when I wasn't allowed to get a tan either. Now that's all in the past. Yeah! <laughs> now all I can do as I please. Getting a nice deep tan feels kinda nice. <sighs> do as you please, however. If you must be so loud, could you do so a distance away? Mm. Look, I can see your friend out there at sea that way. Why not go for a swim yourself? <laughs> nah, I'm sticking with my nap idea. Besides, monster is unlimited energy. Speaking of which, there's unlimited food in this world, right? Twist a faucet and honey comes out. Tap a pocket and biscuits multiply like crazy! <laughs> The sky's the limited imaginary world. Also, also. Honestly. If you intend to nap, might I suggest touching that mouth close first? I spoke my mind to the super self conscious girl got fed up with me. Oh, Celeste. She is a Ludenberg. It is also kind of funny how Celeste exists and then, you know, then Celeste exists! So now there's uh, two Celestes, in a sense. So. You can choose which one you prefer in the comments below. Which Celeste do you like? Do you like Celeste or Celeste? Give me your Celeste opinions in the Celeste below Celeste. Yeah. Still not enough for that, but I can go over to here. That gives me a destination, doesn't it? Yeah, destination and double square. I'm gonna use that. Right now. If I, I, sh I don't need to use the good... I, Goodbye card I better use, so why do I even still have it? I know why, but no. Come on, Kotoko, punch her in the face. The snake is a woman, I'm pretty sure. I've been here ten times, I I have a feeling that is the case. That snake is a woman. Third Island, Teddy Typhoon. We can go. We're moving the distance. Lucky chance. Uh that's six. Let's see where we get places from there. I can go right in there if I wanted to, or I can wander around. Actually, there isn't much space other than that, so... Because I don't have anything else. Let's do the mini-boss room! The only small. Yeah. Ugh. 20 minutes or so, that's decent enough. Actually, no, it's not 20 minutes, because there was an intermission for a small amount of time. Yay, go to go perish. Happens to the best of them, I don't know. Defeated in battle, so now it's camp day 20. Yeah, I definitely did not ever rest at all. I probably could have done that on times when I needed to level up. Or, you know, needed to heal up. But I didn't do that. Grove Square, yay. Let us just waste that goodbye card, because I'm not going to use it. And there's Leon over there. And then use the triple move to hopefully get somewhere closer to where I was. Calculating! Such a good move. I can only imagine how long it takes to calculate when it comes to some of the other ones. Wow, a lot of these spaces are open. I mean, some of them are impossible to land on anyway. I'm going to choose this friendship event! Because where else would I go? Let's <laughs> just walk around like that. Go, Kodoko, go! Easy enough. Oh hey, it's the Phineas. It's the fit, the fit, where did Phineas come from? The familiar one. Hot vampires, sign me up, my dude. No, oh, I prefer staying. Slightly ambitious to be surrounded by him. Yep. Aw, oh, yeah, get me some yakitori. I always best this up with the tried and true. I wonder Blood and impending death makes a man's charm shine. True, but getting them is such a waste. Oh. 
Oh, she's so guilty here. They truly cater to a wide variety of needs. My, my. Like being grown ups, guys, is gross. But I guess like kids would be way more gross. Huh? Yeah. Oh, what's up, mind you? Sweet just can't be beat. Uh -huh. My white knight in the vampire outfit, Hachi Machi. Now that gets my blood pumping. Yep. Hmm, sauce is fine, but salt is the bee's knees. Yes. In indeed. terms of appearance, Blackia is adequate, but it hardly fits certain. Mm. This isn't as good as the Gyoza Utsunomiya. Utsunomiya, but it is quite tolerable. I thought I had it that time, but I didn't. Ah, oh, that older boy? I just get the impression of being held cat to suits. <laughs> so sweet, this magic gets a gold star. You what are you guys doing judging my white knight? Do I gotta get stabbed by chicken skewers? Huh? Oh my, I was simply going along with the topic. May I try some of the yakitori? Seriously? Your girl talk is so gory. Talking about sweets is obviously the way to go. <laughs> What's this motley crew from hell doing talking, talking girl talk anyway? There you go. Familiar events. I'm surprised it has only happened... Well, not too often, I guess, but there is reasons for why it haven't, hasn't happened too often. I'm picking my moves carefully. <laughs> Five and encounter. And an event! Hello. Give me something nice. I know you can. Thank you, Monofanny. So long, farewell. A revive. I don't need that zero. Okie dokie. Actually, if I play my cards right, I might be able to just bamf my way through and just completely get going and maybe get past the fourth island who knows right hello again well, thank you for stealing my money so long very so well 990 I had money but I don't anymore okay well that is a four foot for certain so I can land on that spot hello Yasuhiro Give me a goodbye card. 30 move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. I'm, what, I lost my my shit, apparently. But double square is fine now. There's Jotaro. I kind of want to see um, more of the Warriors folk interacting with each other. I, I know Kotoko and Monica are pretty close. So I kind of want to see them shit on Jotaro a bit. I'm sure they would. I don't need... Well, I got an encounter card already, so take it. Holy shit, there you go. Is that a level up? Of course it is. Getting me that health. And an event! Surgery time. Whatever, there's nothing to lose. It's okay. Thank you, Monodam, for being there for me. Hello, Monotaru. Nice to see you. You ruined my life for giving me a bad surgery. I lost a lot of things. What a shame. How foolish of me to fall for such a ruse. Not that one, I want to land on this one. For the case of there being a chance of getting a thing. Oh yeah, the revive card. Nope, never mind. What a bad time. I don't have any defense. I was tarnished in battle. Yeah, the five doesn't get me anywhere, so why am I even trying? Go! Hello, Hajime. They gave me a two card. I. Good question. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone. God, they are fast and they do a lot of damage, and I have no. Health. Thank you, surgery. I mean, I could just bounce. I could bounce and just spend my time doing the events. I really could, but no. Go here. Wealth. One, two, three, four. Of course, the one time I try focusing on that instead. But no, it was just a rest because I fell asleep. I feel tired. Best of all, on the way, we can try things I'm ready to. You're tired. But everyone here is done by high schoolers. Us kids can just play. Aww. I don't even get to see Monica in a Yukata. What even is the point of this festival? I'll look at the stalls to kill some time. I'll kill time at the play. Ah. Wow, a big peach is floating down the river. I've never seen a peach so big. <laughs> She's kind of young for a granny. Her costume and makeup aren't great, but otherwise it's fine. Anyway. Yep, no complaints here. I couldn't care less about the quality of a school festival. 
I enjoyed the play from the perspective of someone totally uninvolved. Good going. <laughs> All my influence before you recovered and received a zero move. Alright. Interesting case. Do I try it again for the wealth? No. Ah, see, there you go. I was wondering, like, what was going on there, but mm, yeah, it's fine. Double the effect of the next square, whatever it happens to be. It's going to be a battle against... A, a, nah, mm-hmm, let's find out. We are only here for once, so let's find out. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah! Of course. Experience fell to zero. And... I had a feeling. Shop card, in case I wanted to go somewhere. I really wanted to bounce. You know, I, I probably should just bounce. I can't quite bounce yet, because I'm not good at it. It's silly. You can do it. No, you can't. <laughs> that was exactly enough. Uh, Kotoko is getting defeated in battle all over the place. She is not strong enough. Fine, shop card. Please let me leave. You let me leave. Thank you. Stopped on shop. Oh, that's a good choice. If I want defense or attack, I think. Let's play to the defense. That's probably better. And, um. I could just jump back to the third island if I wanted to. So, let us attack. I am serious. I will defend my honor. Go, go, go! Snake eyes. I hope you learned your lesson. Rude? Rude? Rude. That was very rude. Third island. Jump to the... Go, 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 go. At least I have the defense. That's the important part. Roll that. Get a nice six. Okay. There you go. It's cool. Dun, 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 dun. Just take him all my money. So long. Farewell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, for, uh, who was the one that got curve stomped again? Was it Hajime? I love getting curve stomped over and over and over again. Poor, poor Kotoko. She doesn't deserve this. I just can't fall asleep. I'll count monocups until I doze off. Uno, dos, tres. One monocub. Two monocubs. Three monocubs. Four, five monocubs. Well, that's all of them. Speed increased. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. I probably brought it up slightly in... No, actually, I don't think I did. But it was interesting when I was going through V3 the first time. I noticed that all of the monocuffs actually do have the same color schemes as all of the Warriors of Hope. So, yeah. I like it! Free rides are the best part of the theme park! I love watching all the prophetic screaming people! <laughs> eh, as opposed to riding? I'm not used to being amusing for others. Whoa. That's fine. I don't want to hear a picky squeal. If it has to be a pig, it should be Miss Pig Pew. Gee. Besides, they're not even tall enough to ride a lot of these attractions. Um, it would be easy for the real me, but this avatar is right on the edge. But actually, oh, me too. <laughs> In this world, it's okay to sound on my tippy toes to get through. So. It's pretty iffy, so Fumi, why don't you ride alone and report that? Anyway. Not, in this case, he might be too wide to ride. <laughs> yeah, but let's keep me deceiving. I've lost much weight, and I can easily lower the city bar. Mm -hmm. If you'll excuse me, I'm going like a cool breeze. Sear my courageous image into your mind. That could have gone better. That G-Force crushed my flesh organs with snacks and cola. Ew. Ew, that's freaking gross. That's such a thing as too much information, you know. Aww. Nasty swine. If you turned to ground pork, I wouldn't have had to hear that. I'm being done with you, my two sadistic little girls. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. But yes, as you may have surmised, it was somewhat of a rough attraction. I do write it yourself, and let your screams fly. That's it for this edition of One Man Jet Coaster. Boring. Ugh, you aren't even trying. Say more like a celebrity chef on TV. <laughs> oh yeah, they're writing that thing is like a legal truck trip and being sent directly to the coaster town. Well, anyway. Say it like that. What? Several unreadable requests from two states little girls. I'm not your toy, you know. Here we go. I think my organs made the good I may be a walking time bomb, I need just you. Hey, no, not one no. step closer, buddy! Go away! Seriously, I can't handle this! No. You, that kind of video is totally someone's fetish, and I am not gonna be in it! <laughs> this is payback for all the abuse. You better run. <coughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you, Fumi, for diffusing the situation, as it were. Oh, perfect timing. Who's gonna fail the surgery a second time? 
I bet it's going to be Kodoko. <laughs> Yay, 35 to 25. Jesus, she has no health. And she will very much die quickly if she keeps going. And look, there's Monica. Hey, Monica. Hey, hey. Nah, I am. I don't listen to that kind of music. So there you go. Success. Rude. Oh, no. Okay, I've been challenged to a duel. Alright. Okay. I forgot about that duel mechanic. Once you're ready, battle, go for it. So, since the last time I found out, hey, you just use the duel card and you get sent to the duel area. So that's what's going on there. And an event. Go to the destination. Do I want to? I'm going to perish. Might as well get set back to start. Whatever. And then I'll just leap to the duel and then die again. <laughs> How silly would it be? Wouldn't that be absurd if I didn't just punch him in the face? Oh no, zeal. 21 damage! God, better zeal. Nope. I have been defeated. I have been wiped out. 14 days remain. And you... Oh yeah, I was looking at these, so let's see. Endurance! Initial awakening value. Just do that. Might as well. It's better than nothing. Just to have an awakening thing going on there. Dual time, dual time, dual time, let's go! Hello, Monica. I don't want to fight you, but, you know, here we are. Is this a good idea? Oh, it is! Woot! <laughs> oh, shit! Level up tower fragments, Java coins. Talent Fragments. I want all the green. Maybe should have leveled up. 27! Who needs to worry too much about what's going on? I can just run all the way over here again. And get more Talent Fragments! Yes! That'll be the rest of this. I'll just get a bunch of Talent Fragments. Then they'll believe me. They'll all believe me. Well, Kodoko can't get a lot. But you know, got the experience and stuff now, in terms of, you know, upgrades. It's better than what it used to be like. So Just a little more now. My mom. I was wondering what you were up to, but a sandcastle? And in a Japanese-style architecture? <laughs> I had preferred a big castle befitting of a beautiful princess. Oh. Once I started, I couldn't stop. But then the tide started coming in. No. What do I do? The entire castle will be swept away. Either you run away or you share the castle's fate! Duh! Someone that's hated the beast is just sick into the sea with the castle. I bet everyone agrees. <sighs> oh, Chataro, Sodom wasn't useful, but he was moderately tolerable. I never liked him, though. Uh, I'm not dead yet, but pretending I'm dead must be a tougher sign of how disliked I am. <laughs> Proof that the castle is mine! I live a happy life of Mermaid Princess Monica under the sea. Wait, under the sea? Then I can live at the bottom of the sea as a hideous fishman. <laughs> You already threw yourself into the sea and died! Oh, Monica, come over here, would you? So much for that. But well, it's fine. I'll just make a new castle over there. <laughs> but this time, it'll be a western-style castle. Monica's very own Snow White castle. I'm sure she means the color, and not the copywritten character. Because that's clearly copywritten and not public domain folktales. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Why would I know? I'm just a... Rando speaking words into a microphone on the internet. How rude of me to do that. 3 to 13. High jump card. I can high jump anywhere. Go! My fork dark Davis of destruction. Take me away to the first island. No one. Of course. I was really hope expecting it to just take me just to the third island. Or just the first island. Wouldn't that be silly? Rise and shine! I'm in a super good mood. Listen to me sparkle and walk to the left and right. Recovery! That let I mean, that kind of help. Maybe not entirely. What a situation. Do I just keep running back and forth? Mayhaps I do. Or I can just go over to here. That'll help. 21 to 25, that's a lot of experience. Surely the way to do it. Who knows? 
and go up to there, onto a battle space. This seems like a smart battle to do. I can go to that. Nah, I'm just gonna hang outside. I'm pretty sure that's the way I want to end this. I've only got so many spaces left to go on. Hit on nice four. Get you to 16. We'll just have an awakening woman. Come on. Kotoko, you know how to awaken. Awaken all of your hearts and value like that. Yeah, you need the, the blues and the reds. You ready? Do! That's the kit needs to be. Can't go anywhere else. Yeah, just run back to there. We'll level up. This is how Kotoko's just gotta run left and right, up and down. That's the good part. Maybe I'll try and find out what's in the Wizard of Monomy. That might be a thing to do. It's waste time! Hey, a high jump card. And that's not a five, it's a four, isn't it? Hey, there you go. Let's get you something. Oh yeah, we did look at this before. One, two, three, four, five. Double square, whatever. I don't need that success. I was looking for the 30, honestly. It's been a wild ride, but the time here is almost over. Having a bonfire is a My, my! A bonfire and folk dancer. I've seen kids' games put together better than this. How quaint! That one nerdy guy is especially ridiculous. I should set an example for them. Oh. Impressive! Each of moves is spot on, down to your fingertips. Seriously? Showing off past skills seems like something adults would do, so it makes my stomach turn. Fun. But someone needs to show these underachievers the ropes. Was it helpful? Oh, it sure was. I've had plenty of folks have to re you in their own moves after watching you. <laughs> How nice that you older people to watch me and learn. I guess this win was real well worth it. I see. Even if you change your path in life, the strength you gain can benefit you in other ways. Aww. You make it sound like a good thing. I wish I could just bury those skills and be done with it. <gasps> but why did it have, have this win? A child's heart is as thick as autumn's warrior weather, I guess. Oddly, I enjoyed the folk dance. How whimsical. Truly whimsical. Yeah, I think it actually does equate to what kind of what of the, the skills you want to pick up is. So you just go for the middle one if you want blue, the top one if you want red, etc, etc. Speaking of picking up talent fragments, more of these. If only a little more. 3, 4, 5, 6. Good stuff. Three more spots. Uh, let's just... High jump to be no, double square first, and then high jump, see where we land. I doubt it's gonna be anywhere useful. Hmm. Hasn't this up my experience gain? It might do. Perhaps. No way to tell. Double move. Alright, fine, double move then. Can use it in tandem with the other thing, so we'll have to go with what the game gives me. And will I be able to land on a single one of these event spaces to end off? Maybe not. Um, let's see. So if I landed, if I was, where would I want to be? So if I was standing there, then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So land on the shop, and then I'll be smart. Check this bitch out. Less defense, less attack. I don't need any of this, so back out. Have a very nice day! Then camp day 50. Hello. Nice to see you, Nagisa. And there you go, five. Boosh. Right there. Calculate. One, two, three. Look, I really didn't miscount. My, my. Is something the matter? Seeing you staring at numbers is like an omen from a natural disaster. Hey. I was counting how many days are left in the trip. So why do you look so bummed? Wait, no, I understand now. Let me guess, you haven't touched your homework? Dear Ugh, the old chips aren't even supposed to have homework. <sighs> this must be another adult scheme. They're just jealous of how as free us kids are. Hey. Ugh, adults really are the worst. But, then again. but getting to spend time here of almost no bad adults was also no good adults. That settles it. I will is... not do my homework. All right. If I didn't, then I surely wouldn't let me leave this place. My, my. Oh my, that means you'll be living under the protection of adults you can't trust. <laughs> That's... Aww. You were just looking for the most plausible reasons to not do your homework, weren't you? Hey. You shut up. What about Kotoko, huh? What about you? <laughs> I never had any intention of doing mine. Studying for the sake of pleasing adults is dumb. Damn it. That 
It's not fair. You're just looking for an excuse to not do homework. Aww. Nope, it's not some harebrained scheme like yours. This is a premeditated crime. Revolution, even. Hey. That's just crazy talk. How is that any different from my idea? <sighs> Let's cease this. His fellow anti homeworkers that the ideological clash is counterproductive. Woohoo! Just like adults pushing responsibility onto each other. It's lame and I have none of it. You're right. One argument really did seem like just something adults would do. <laughs> Instead of this silly, let's think about it. Want to play it? Think about what to play at the beach tomorrow. Well, I get to see Monica in a swimsuit. E, I just can't wait. All right. Yeah, who cares about the day after tomorrow? We always have tomorrow. All right. I'm the party leader. Tomorrow we bring our quest to defeat the colossal monster known as the Ogreden. Huh? Ogreden, huh? Fine. Whatever you say, Masaru. That's that. <sighs> Funny, I could have found this sooner. It's all an act, though. Just the hope fragment. Okie dokie. Anything additionally, or is that going to be all that we have? I mean, hmm. She has the endurance, so she might as well be a mage and have cure condition only on one level. <laughs> How silly. Not the thing I wanted to level up. That's the one I wanted to do instead. Do do boo boo. That's all she has. Just cure condition. It's silly. But see, that's why we have battle mode, just to boost through it. Two extra pennies though, to see if there's any changes to my plans for the last character I want to develop on stream. Would be. For at least a series. Because I said before, hey, it's potential that I could just stream some of these runs once all this series is out. So I might end up doing that. It depends. You'll see it eventually. Maybe. Again, it depends. Lucky lucky. What thy lucky luck. It's just a present! Which gives me increased freight for friendship squares. Okay, so no one new or interesting. So, I guess it's time to select a development. New game. And this will be the last one from two. We have eventually a choice. Many characters to pick from that we haven't done. And I feel the character we would like, I would like best to do. Um, let's do Miss Paco Pacoyama. I'm sure she's gonna have a lot of fun on this island trip. And I'm not gonna use any items. It's nothing better to do with it, you know. <laughs> I am excited for what awaits us here. A feeling I would cherish as a young master would want. Young master? Uh, <laughs> no. Let's not get into that. Episode 14 is still an amazing coincidence. It, it was just... Coincidence that I wanted to start uploading that series in 2019, and then that year tended to ha happen to have just April 1st be a Monday, which meant wonderful things happened, which led to that episode specifically being released on April 1st, with all the events that happened in it. That's also kind of the funny thing. So, yeah. Oh, she has the, the focus. That's right, because I have the hype card. There you go. Can I check it from the screen? I almost forgot that I had hype cards for. Yeah, won't be able to see it from there now. But yeah, that's that's good stuff. I can heal every now and then during turns. Cool stuff. Hello, Miss Akane. You're Kaede, not Akane. Okay. <laughs> so you arrived, she who commands the well. Would you please stop calling me that? Fine. Much like how the wise hawk hates hey, his talent, so too do you redact names and display your power. Yes. I don't understand what you're saying, but so long as you call me by my real name, it's fine. You fiend. Now then, Pecco, I prepared this secret meeting with you for one singular reason. Let me ask. Do you behold my record of magic beasts of this world upon my dispelling of the newest barrier? <laughs> yes, I saw it on social media. I never thought I'd see cows and hamsters playing. Let me tell Perhaps it's due to being an illusory world that I are so docile. Fall Even when the four dark days of the destruction drew near, it remained quiet, displaying no threat. Little floofers and big animals getting along. However, I couldn't very well just sit around knowing such a miracle was occurring nearby. Would you mind letting me watch them? If you flinch, very you well. Die. However, are you able to mask your presence and the bonding is complete? Yes. Of course, I wouldn't want to distract them. A foolish question. Let's go. Now, Jumpy, Magazi, Sandy, Champy, go forth, the master of his realm. What is this? 
such affection. Be to think they would resonate to such a degree, a spectacle that makes this visit meaningful. May I take some pictures? Fine. Do as you will, but be cognizant of sound and light, or you mustn't awake the beast within. Yes. I know, I'll be soft and gentle. <laughs> <laughs> this is just too cute. I, I'm not sure if you heard it in my voice there, but I definitely smiled when she said floofers. That's a real good line, real nice to hear someone say in this instance. Hello there, Miss Fayoko. Bop, 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 bop. Three move card and battle. Just punch that guy in the face, it's cool. Monic mammals, perish. Time to get out of here now. Hmm. Something nice about listening to this music. Even though it's gonna be for the last time. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Go to this space. I'd want to speak with Nekomaru, but I think growth squares are more important because I will be haphazardly leveling up characters anyway. So. That's where they're going to end up being, just leveling up whilst on the way to the middle. Which they probably will get to in the middle island. Gain 60. Frenzy activated. Increased movement. Good stuff. Makes me... Actually, did I have a card that gave me extra movement? Because I would have thought maybe if you used uh, the triple move card, you would get a, an incredible speed from it. Who knows, maybe I'll have one and that'll be a case in the future. Yeah, you know. We still have time, it, there's plenty of turns for us in a frenzy mode. Like that one. Don't have one right there, but... Whatever, what have you. So this shop, I have 600 pennies, that's good enough. Just skip past that guy over there. I mean, this could also be the run where I do the achievement for not picking up any equipment. But I think that... Nah, I'm not going to do that. This is not going to be a thing I do on screen. I'm just going to do it in my own time. Because I feel like that's going to be a difficult one to end up doing. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What do you think? How is the scenery in the water, Pico? It was as calming as people say. I understand now why some say it's mentally ununifying. Huh? Uh, underwater? Mentally unifying? What are we talking about here exactly? I see. Diving is a popular activity these days. This is something called free diving, typically done with only a mask in the shallows. Yes. I try it as well. It now be to focus on the natural world and my inner self. Yes. Right. One can't hold their breath long enough for deep contemplation, but it's quite calming. And so... I feel like it's appropriate, given our assignment here, to re-examine ourselves. Um, it's definitely true that underwater feels like another world, like a different life. Yes. Exactly, it empties the mind, allowing you to inspect whichever thoughts may come. Anyway... I wouldn't quite say it has a meditative effect, but the bodily sensation is something very close. Well then... Sounds like a nice reset switch for the mind, maybe we should give it a try too. That is correct. If you intend to die for a while, I'll be near, just in case. I do not mind. I'll watch trouble ways away so as not to disturb you. Feel free to call on me for anything. <gasps> You'd even do that for me, Kurumi? <laughs> <laughs> Kurumi is most helpful. With her around, I can forget about the time without a worry in the world. Um, it's nice having that laugh along with the V3 sound of Sparkle sound. It's, it's, it fits. It fits really well. Even you have to worry about that stuff, huh? Yeah. Not to imply you're faultless, of course. I'm just getting the impression that you're the type who presses on to conquer their goals. I see. That's correct. My priorities are settled. Even so, I have times where I waver or pause. But since I rarely thought so, I struggle to examine anything related to my own self. That's why I'm trying something new like this. You're right. You really have your act together, huh? That is correct. Indeed. And that's why I'd like to assist her. What? Yeah, is that so? I never expected to be thought of in such a way. However... If I'd appear that way to you, perhaps I should ruminate on this. May very well be a step towards completing my assignment. Attributes have increased. Some good attribute increase there. Roll the dice! Nice! Three! Where we go? Uh, maybe not Kazuichi, but Hio... Uh, not Hiyoko. Himiko is cool enough. She's chill! Believe you me, I would hang out with Himiko. There are a lot of students, actually, I would like to hang out with, with this game. And it's not too terribly awkward, because it's still, like, 22 to comparison. I, um, I'm of age! Close enough! For Yasuhiro, so it's not too weird, honestly. <laughs> Believe me, I am a normal, everyday human. I can do this. 
I am just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's... It's fine. Don't worry about it. I mean, to be fair, there, I mean, I already did talk about during Misery Mondays, like, I have a, a hug tier list. Characters that would enjoy hugs, I would like to hug normally. That was just a thing that I did. For shits and gigs. So yeah. Enter the second island, Peko. The trouble is on sending my sleep deprived orbs. I even like the energy to four classic my eyes! What? Oh, pardon me, are you okay? Well... Oh, it's fine, I should have been watching where I was. Oh. No, I must say, there is something charmingly anime about running into you here, Miss Pekoyama. <laughs> anime? What do you mean? <laughs> I chased a counter with the reserve kendo girl on the road to school for a lead to a fierce battle. However... Good grief! And suddenly I've become the hero of a night novel! Something along those lines. Hold on! Hifumi, this isn't the road to school, and you look pale. Should I call Mikan? Mm. Miss mm. Yumiki! The, the clumsy off killed a sub-heroine. Every party needs a healer, after all. Well... But me, yes, I am fine. Miss Yumiki advised me how to better care for myself, so I've been, uh, I've been well. No. I've, I've, honestly, I've been well. You don't look fine. Perhaps it's heat stroke. I can hear it sometimes. Cause who's least. Is this word of hallucination? Is it all a dream? Oh, thou art us if thou art us. <laughs> Ifumi, put us together. However, can you collapse Mr. Fogami's remain so close to his hellish climate? Okay. Fair point. That's actually good. Damn it. Damn it, DR, for being so smart. Our armories have been able to fix this, so why? Is it a difference in circumstance? Or upbringing? Someone come quickly, is Mikan around? Say what? Summer Kami Cat has accused accustomed me to heat, but sunlight of this caliber is alien to me. Hold on. If Fumi hang in there, help us on the way. Oh, the day into the caring watch of the mysterious Kendo girl. How very light no protagonist of me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Hifumi's dead. Okay, so who's up for some Chinese food? Actually, no, I'm not up for some Chinese food, I'm up for some carvery, I guess. That's my plan for the rest of the day, I suppose, after finishing this last episode. I'll be sat here on my sofa, and then suddenly, hello Chinese. You're not Chinese. You are instead carvery. Good, good, good commentary, you know. You're being apt. It's close to the end, you know how it's gonna end. So yeah, we'll just let it end when it comes to the end. It will, eventually. One, two, three, All right. four, ah, this sucks, 500, 7,000, 100,000! Hey, be careful swinging that stick around, it's dangerous. And the name I'm not just swinging it around! Is... This is special training for my fighting style. Hold on. Special training, you say? Isn't it so I'm a hero cool? and leader of my party! I'll defeat any monster that I encounter! I see. So you've likened a stick to a sword for training? In that case, you should revise your methods. You must correct your grip and stance before you develop bad habits. Yes. More importantly, a twig like that will break it for a single blow. Well... Then give me the one on your back! It'd be way better at wielding an ancient hero assault. No. I can't part with this. I have a duty to serve after all. Anyway. If a weapon is truly what you seek, I recommend getting top of training at a dojo. Considering your status is a little ultimate, I'm sure any dojo would conquer you. Hey! But I want a sword now! A hero without a weapon is totally lame! What? Lame? If you want a weapon for style purposes, perhaps you should reconsider. <laughs> you must understand the responsibility of one who wields a weapon and learn to pair this as well. Be prepared, my friend. Be prepared for your birthday present! God, that's old. That's real old. Shoutouts to Heavy's birthday, if you've ever remembered that animation. That's... Yeah, again, it's old. I see. Hmm, this seems very familiar. The timing window for special attacks is quite strict. Hmm. You're doing great for your first time. I wonder if your martial arts help with big attacks. Um... Yeah, I'm done fighting about using my fists just to feel right. Is that so? Really? You have amazing reflexes too. I'm sure you want to get better and better. Perhaps. Well, no sense in doing something you don't like, but just watching can be fun too, you know? Hmm, mm, alright then. I expect until I get tired. I still want to study Pekka's fighting style. Then... Being watched by Akane? All the more reason not to slouch. Well... Let's replace Akane's character with a CPU. Alright then, let's do another! <laughs> let's go, gamers! Yeah. Mm. Oh, I guess I dozed off. You. You guys still at it? You'll miss out on breakfast if you don't go to sleep soon. <gasps> oh no. How is it already this late? Huh? Oops. We got a little bit too into it. I kept getting better, so I couldn't help it. Honestly. Myself as well, especially when I was closing in the wind count. <gasps> I must be slipping to become so engrossed in the combat that I forget about my duties. Mm. Yeah, but I had a lot of fun. Were you bored, Pekka? It was fun. That's not it. 
It was fun for me as well. Seldom do I experience losing track of time. Right? Then I'm happy. Having a lazy day like this every once in a while isn't so bad, right? Yes. I suppose. Would you consider inviting me again? I'd like to fight you without going too hard. Leave it to me. Of course. Feel free to ask me to game anytime. Yo! Alright, if you're done talking, get to sleep. You'll never get buffed if you stay out too late. Now then. I'm gonna crash. Mm, ugh, screw it. My room is too far away. I'm gonna borrow your couch. What? But Connie, how does one fall asleep so quickly? Ah. Would you like to say two, Pekka? It'll be like a slumber party. That sounds fun. Impossible. That's a little too... Not bad. No, you're right. I'm already here, so I might as well try more things I'm unfamiliar with. I'm glad. Sounds great. Maybe something will help towards my assignment, even. Your attributes have increased. Is that the other one? Nope, it's just a destination jump. Fine. I mean, it's probably not the smartest idea, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm at level 9. With shit all for damage. Perhaps I should have just waited and gone for... Or oh, whatever. A mass power! Good, I didn't get affected by anything. 145! Oh, that's 20. Yeah! Barely enough. Also, the health regen helps quite a bit, actually. Obtain snake scroll. 1750 Gabba coins. Even once I'm finished with developing Pekka, I'm gonna go back in just to see the uh, specific cards that I have with, with her. Because apparently, I've got some good stuff in there. 1, 2, 3, 4. Nah. That was just fine, but then I lost it. Oh, there we go, finally. Ideas for unlocking potential in my town. Potential. I never truly considered the concept, but... How can I prevent losing those dares to me? Determination is crucial, I was born with it. They called me out here because something like the others can't hit my ticket. Yes. That is correct. And I take it you've likely guessed the reason behind this? <laughs> you want to hear my time in this land? Oh. Whenever the topic of prison comes up, I notice you're not so subtly looking over at me. <laughs> Impressive. That's exactly right. I'd like to know what you saw, what you learned, who you met, anything about your experiences. No. In exchange, I too will share anything you'd like to know. In other words... Shady dealings via shady knowledge, eh? How's that for something extracurricular activity? Got it. Sure, what the hell. You never know. This could be the key to our side. I actually drive all the information over here. Valuable. Still got a ways to go. Yo, 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 fucker. Also, yeah, that definitely didn't count. <laughs> because I got red from it and I'm pretty sure that wasn't a top option. So my point is moot and incorrect. No matter what. Run away, Pekko, run away. You know where to go. You know where to find me. Look, there's Shirakuma. Hello, Shirakuma. I would like to meet you face to face. Fiesta to siesta. Recovery. Cool. Not like Pekka needs it, she can heal every now and then on occasion. What does that give us? We have Central Island Cump. Cump, Jard. Yeah, Cump. It's time to cope with Cump. You go to Cumping, I'm going to Cumping. <laughs> <laughs> Miyaki, yeah, perfect from dawn to dusk. That's enough. Quit following me and keep 65 feet away. <laughs> okay, uh, we're down to 65 feet. The distance between us has closed so dramatically. <laughs> hey, you don't stand next to me with such confusingly unpleasant timing. What? Me? I was just passing by to go get breakfast. Mm -hmm. Here I am spending quality time with Miyaki, and my doppelganger comes by and spoils everything. He may be perfect in every way, but his vision is a little poor. And uh, 20 meters away, what will happen in that minuscule chance he makes snakes? <laughs> What do you mean similar? Oh, like hairstyle, glasses, clothes? <laughs> I never really noticed the clothes part, actually. That's fair. That's right, we're exactly the same. Oh, Come shit, on. me! If that if that's true, then what the fuck is chapter two, then? God. Bring up these points to me. Hey, Toko, are you mocking me? I never dreamed of such a thing. Such a cold glare. Please, give me more. I am a little disturbed that I'm more used to seeing you two at the back. Please don't get used to something that repulsive. Wow. What what a thing to note, I guess. Damn you, Togo, for pointing out yourself that you have the same clothes as Peko Peko Yama. To a degree. Except Peko uses a skirt. And that's definitely not wearing, it's using the skirt. That's how skirts are used. 
I use pants every day. And then I also use trousers. Because I'm American. Clearly. I'm not American. That's that's the whole joke. Yeah, my hour time we just finished, but we're doing the entirety of this as a finale. Because finales can be however the hell long they ended up being. I decide on how long this was gonna be. And it's going to be this long. More friendship events. That's the good stuff. Have a minute. By the way, I have a question for you, Maki. Huh? For me? Yes. Yes, you've been working out alongside Kaito and Shuichi, correct? Oh! Oh yeah, I was curious about that too. About what kind of exercise you're doing and all that shit. I see. All that. Nothing major. Compared to you two, it probably sound completely half-assed. Just basically things like sit-ups, push-ups. On bad days, we just chat forever instead. It's really all haphazard and spur of the moment. If you saw us, you'd think nothing of it. Well... Is that so? That's a surprise, and yet... Huh? I understand what you're getting at, Peko. From an outsider's perspective, all that working out is having some crazy results. Hmm. Now that's something I never expected to hear. I see. Sure, those workouts might not be the most effective in terms of building muscle, but you and Shuichi, shit, compared to before the day, you are like night and day. That's true. I can't deny that. Even I can tell Shuichi has changed. And myself as well, I am sure I've changed. I see. Ready, this is the way you approach things are fundamental ingredients of change. For some athletes, that body make cute gains, but their mind is left to dust. But you're not like that. Exactly could have changed you so radically. Is this... I've done nothing special. Why I had to say, maybe it's because of Kaito's ridiculousness. Fuck, I love that idiot. <laughs> he claims to be a cleats leader. Is he lifting up to the task? What is it? I'm honestly a bit uncomfortable discussing this. I never want to attract so much attention. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't want to throw your peaceful operation into disarray. So what I mean Knowing Kaito is... and his personality, I think I get it though. All those workout sessions. They get results only because your friendship, and not something a gym can reproduce. Not bad. Enhancing oneself for a companions. I have it off limits to me. I'm honestly envious. I'm right on. Can we please drop this now? It's embarrassing. God, that fucking idiot, Kaido. I that that Kaido, that Kaido, Kaido, kite, 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 kite. So... I'm stupid. Metal box. So long, Hello. farewell. Peko opens a box to see a cat! Yay, Tunnel Fragments. Cool. Use the success card. Oh, I, I didn't realize the success cards also contribute to that event. Well, there you go. The more you know. I know less than I used to, but I do now. 40 20 20. Interesting. Minus 5 to get you to 30. Ooh. Good, good rolls, man. Got some good stuff going. Stuff. Very, very well done stuff. Yeah, you. Mm. Yep. It's a 21. Five levels. Rise and shine. Who? Which one are you duplicating? Who's the recovery or something like that? Yeah, there you go. How was that? That was exactly what happened. I'm surprised. I'm good at speaking the words. Fine, if you insist, I want to go to the friendly square anyway. These cows are so carefree, and most animals would run as soon as someone approached them. You're, you're a fan of cows? Because I never took you for an animal lover. No. I would consider myself such, but I have no ill feelings towards creatures like these. <laughs> We've seen a few Peko events, apparently. It's interesting to know. The innocent side of them grazing puts my mind at ease. Yeah, I know what you mean. Animals have a strong way of dispelling complex human emotions. Yes. Yes, it was a very nice thing. <laughs> yeah, agreed. However, this is a farm. It wouldn't be unusual to see sheeps or rabbits, right? Your, I'm getting to put the pieces together. You two animals have a nice fur to pet, eh? <laughs> so you understand. That's correct. Fluff is my weakness. Yeah. I see. I can understand that. They help me take your mind off things, no matter how cruel. Cool. You really do understand. Precisely and soft and warm and fluffy the animals. They are a very nice thing. <laughs> I'm right at my cat, I left in someone's cabin still on vacation. Gee, I'm sure he's doing just fine, so I shouldn't feel the need to suppress him as soon as possible, I guess. <laughs> Having a handful of fluff to pet upon your return, I'm so envious, Ryoma. Ryoma makes a grand return in this familiar event again. That's why I said the thing. We definitely have seen a bunch of uh, Peko events, apparently. You definitely remembered her name, didn't you, Joshua? No! Land on the space and just enter the hospital already. We should at least try to get better. Maybe, just maybe, we could see 
the outskirts of what the the the, 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 the the final island would look like. That would be nice, but I don't know. Was, I, I feel like there was an achievement for fully completing the development. I might be wrong though. Mm, yeah, no, what am I doing? I'm just going to the hospital. Waste of six, like that. I have a high jump. Let's just see where that takes us. Three recoveries! Wow. Cool. 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 Ba ba beep boop. Ba ba beep boop. Peko has a lot of speed though. Do 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 do. Also, I guess the healing scales with however much health I had, that's really good. 67. What number will we rolled? A nice two. Okay, hello boss battle. That's a mass power, because you've got a zeal as well, aren't you? Nope, just a regular attack. Punch! Oh god. Oh, he doubled me! Damn you! Rude. That's awfully rude of you to do that. Fine, let's wander over very slowly, might I ask? Might I might I tell you? Do -do -do -do. See look, all these guys on the way. Pimple shit. They, they don't give a shit. Pressure to invest into Falcon Kit. Festival happening soon where you can try things unrelated to your talent. Work for Momotaro, and I've been selected to be wrong. Let's go. Everyone entrusted me with the task. I can't take this life. I'll practice hard. The childhood scene with Grandpa! <laughs> Grandpa! Mama Hotaro, must you leave to slay the demons? Must you leave me and Grandma behind? I apologize. Yes, I'm sorry. I promise to return alive. Would you believe in me and wait my return? Amazing. Magnificent, Mama Taro, You are magnificent! I can hardly believe you're my child. Yeah. I'm not your child. I was born from a peach. Besides, a bear can't birth a human child. Uh... Oof, my heart! It's hard to get into my role with Shirokumu. Ah, poor heart! She's just trying to live! And you give her the heart talk! <sighs> Nothing to recover, we got 70 health. Wander forward. It's better than going backward. Go for these fights. It's easy shit, my friend. Critical hit! Wow. Well, I've got a little bit of my drink left, at least. So, we should be covered for the next 20 days. At the very least. Hello, Kaito. Super duper do. Ah, uh, I must apologize for all the times I have sung along to the music throughout this entire mini series. I won't say that I've run out of things to do, but I don't know. There are definitely things I could be saying that are more impactful and important in some respect. But hey, that that that's the end of the sentence. There you go. You didn't have to go that way, it ends at that point. Zeal it. See, it was going to zeal too, so look at that. Punch him, punch him! Critical hit! Yeah, see, that was the thing I was saying earlier. I should probably invest in my fragments into that whilst I can. So that I have some kind of damage. I think it would be wonderful if Falcon Kick was on your rotation. Miss Pekoyama. Along with Swords. I think she could just be This is kinda like making up for Genocide Jack as well. I wanna assassinate though. Yeah, we'll do a bit of that. That's gonna be the the, the build. The build boys, the build. I think having you would be most important. So up those, and then we will just... I'll focus on getting a bunch of reds. And then we will leave. Oh wait, do I have a central island jump? I think I have a central island jump, so that's what I should be doing. Peko, use the mass power. Assassinate? That's not a good idea, Peko. Peko! Perhaps it should be automatic then. Totally automatic. She's also the highest level character right now. She's at a 40. That's, that's good stuff. Central Island, a waste of using the Frenzy, but at the same time, there's no way I could use the Frenzy regardless. See, look at that. Don't be using Assassin, just punch people in the face like normal, especially with Frenzy mode going on. 
You don't need to waste all that time doing nothing. Destination? I'm literally right there. Fine, it doesn't waste a roll, so I should probably do it anyway. I would have skipped over it, but, you know, it's good to have the extra rolling. La la la, la la la. Pfft, mono bird. Get burned. 1050 Jabba coins. You have a lot of money. Back to this island again. Can I go through Grey Palace? Can I go any further? Will it be that idol? I don't even know right now. Should get better defense at the same time. What's... I mean, you. Yeah. Just go for the, the battles so that we can get something better. There you go. Monica Mohammed. I don't know. You know, I, I feel like I should be sh silent just to listen to the music, but that's not good commentary. But I need to learn myself. I still need to develop and be like, hey, be comfortable with silence. But that's my thing. I'm not comfortable with silence sometimes. These are so far away. What's in this shop right here? Here is Rod. I can get those. I should probably aim for that. <laughs> Damn it. Punch you. Critical hit, good. And that guy. Punch you. Good. Good stuff. Happy finale, everybody. It's also kind of funny just doing the, the ten episodes. It's, it's quite nice, actually. It's like, it's wholly something. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh, she wants to battle me, huh? Dueling me? Duel Miss Hiroko, Haga Kure. It's a quick warp out of there if I go through Strawberry House or Grape House. Yeah, just having it be a 10 episodes. I wasn't actually sure how many it was going to be doing for this series, but then it just came out to be like, hey, 10 episodes is pretty good. So that's what I did. Ten that's just a good increase. La 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 la. Can't make that purchase because my inventory is full. No. No. Sorry. <laughs> it is good music. Very good music. How far out can I move? Oh, that's how far out. Good, good space. I like that one. It looks good. You see. I hope you don't mind me saying so, but you have a really pretty skin, Pekka. Um, I've never quite seen fair skin as unique and lovely before. You see. Really now? As far as fair skin goes, I think your mom will deserve me a description. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, but you're the subject right now. Hey, um, Tell me, what's your secret? Well, Nothing in particular. I'm not active at night and early morning, which may explain my paleness. Hmm. So it's your lifestyle, huh? But wow, if you stay up so late... That makes it all the more amazing. <sighs> That's almost unfair. Are you sure you're not doing anything special? Hey. Mm, Psyka? Personal space? What's going on? Though? Hey. Oh, um... sorry. You're easy to talk to, so I guess I got a little too comfortable. What? Me? Easy to talk to? <laughs> you actually reminded me a little of the leader of my idol group. You see. She's one furthest to the left whenever we're on TV. Do you know who I mean? Apologize. I'm sorry. I'm not really familiar with any of the members except for you. Yes. But I find it impossible to believe that someone in your group would be similar to me at all. You really are similar. She's the most adult-like, the most cool, most reliable. <laughs> that describes you pretty well, right? However, I'm hardly someone to be rel relied upon. I must prioritize something over my friends. I will. Okay. See, the humility just makes you seem more reliable. You see. Talk is cheap, right? But you do what needs doing rather than taking up, taking up. Um. I really need to make up for depending on others all this time. Yes. Forget about me. You should rely on your idle friend. If she is similar, I know she'd be happy. Your attributes have increased. Nice. Ten more moves! Ten more developments! Can we go the distance? Six. That's a good distance. I like that amount of movement. I can go to the roller coaster to get some cards, but I don't want to do that. That event space is calling my name. Peko! 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 Echo! See, there you go. What? Huh? Okay, from the sky, what to do? 
I'm gonna eat it. Ominous, but cake did nothing wrong. <laughs> wow. It's a vegetable flavor cake. What a novel and healthy concept. And it tasted great. Strength increase. Oh, she needed that. 212. Wow, Miss Pekoyama. You are massively strong. I can appreciate the amount of terror you're gonna cause once I walk into here. I'm gonna run all the way over to there. Trust me, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking do it in due time because apparently oh god that's close wouldn't that be something at least you know you can just walk right away out of the things that's good slap punch there you go 554 Jesus Pekoyama you are so strong right now 58 holy shit the max cap is level 99, of course. Wow, nice roll. I actually should should have checked my items if I had like a, a, a big number roll to go on me. Probably not. 59. Ugh, just stealing my money. Thank you. 2,000 pennies. Jesus. Yeah, I don't have anything. I have quadruple move, but I want to save that for a later point. Look at this, very nice. I can't even land on any of those chests. Not that I need to. I feel like I can do this. Roll! Hello, Monduba. Mass power! 34 damage. It's, um... Falcon kick. You are... yeah. Making sure. 798, didn't even need it. Boosh. The Monduba horse scroll. 150 Java coins, 63, and another event. God, you know I'm not gonna take the surgery. I, I don't trust my luck. You were so wrong to offer a pardon. That's that. So long, farewell. There you go. That's Shuichi. Now we have a duel, so we can lead to the duel. And I'm gonna open up the last island. Oh God, this is exciting, isn't it? Event square. Bush. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, level up. Level up. 15! Jesus! Should have done that before. It's been a wild ride, but our time here is almost over. We are having a bonfire as a send off. I never expected to have such mixed feelings at the end of my school life. I'll talk to a fellow fan of Fluffy. Well, there you go. I brought pictures of my cat. Oh, that soft fur coat looks wonderful. I feel blessed to run my fingers through it. <laughs> I can guarantee that. <sighs> I'm so envious. One day I'll have a fluff ball of my own to pet. I see. Until then, I must get stronger. A fluffy animal means another being under my protection. Hey. So allow me to rely upon you. Got it. What? You want info or something? Sure, I'll tell you everything I know. Then. I'm glad you're so sharp. This is regarding the organizations you destroyed. Do fill me in later. I trade a very bit of information with Bioma. Wow, she did it. She has spent her time wisely. Dip dip do. Yeah, who needed it? Oh, sword stab would be good. All right, I have more. That's why assassinates being used. I guess that makes some sort of sense. There you go. One for each of them. Balance. I don't even need all that much balance because I need. I have twenty-three of those goddamn whatever's. I don't want to use quadruple move because it's just going to waste all of my shit. Come on, stop in the square. We'll go to that horse. We'll find out what's going on. Shop card. Triple move. This is right there, so I could just use that. I don't need goodbye. We'll use triple move. We only have so many moves left to do. Come along. Triple move. In before a one on the quadruple move. I have a feeling that could happen. Let's just watch this happen. Ba ba beep boop, gonna punch you. It's all good. 1138. That's one away from the close funny number. 1350 Jabber coins. 82! God damn, Pekka, you are so loud. And leveled up. Crazy stuff. And it looks like the Monokuma factory is the final island's resting spot for the whatever. Quadruple move. Three. It's better than nothing. Nice 12. Explore this place a little. So there's 
the place there's a shop too which has Jabba Undies and Jab Excalibur and Quintuple and Final Islands jump there's the factory which I can go into there's the military base there's the something or other I don't remember where that is but it should be like the the factory around somewhere but I guess I just don't know where it is we can enter there though stop on the square Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm Pekko the Woman. Yeah. So much for the music. Ooh. There you go. This is worth it. Worth it to see. Definitely the Monokuma factory. There's so few spaces here. Also, there's the Monokuma beast. That thing is crazy. Check this place out, though. Just wow. I'm fully healed. It's 152 health, just naturally. Oh, I could check. Oh, I don't know if I want to, though. Well, you are closer, question mark? They're both about the same, so it's away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Shit! <sighs> I wanted to see how much that was. So much for trying to find fight the final guy. I fell asleep. <laughs> yes. I intend to continue serving my young master, but this time of my own will, of my own hope. Fragment! That was very good as a last ditch effort, kind of whatever. And I can't do anything because I don't have any reds, so that's going to be how that development ends. I would love to listen to Ikaroshia for a little bit longer. But wow, there's that seven coins. What was the achievements that I retained for that? I don't know which ones it could have been. It wasn't 99. It must have. No, it wasn't the events. Four grimoires. There you go. That's one. Four mono beasts. Then development plan for shopping seven times, and then ten times for shopping. Specific events. And then what? That would that be Pecos? Yeah, I did do Pecos ten times. There you go. And then a bunch of. The battle mode stuff, which we didn't get. There you go. That also counts as showing off all the achievements. So let's end off the finale by rolling the machine seven more times, just to see it off. It could be anything. It could even be nothing. One thing's for certain. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough, this little mini-series. I have been excited to do it for the longest time, finding out about Decadence and seeing this new thing. I might have even mentioned it as well when it was first announced during the uh, the E3 direct. I might, I might have, I might not have. Either way, yeah, it was very fun to come back to Danganronpa just to experience it in a new light again. Nice Mikan, let's keep. And if it happened to be this, then it's fine. It works just well. And you know. Game still hasn't been patched, so I was never able to see what the thing was like. Even though I could have technically seen it, because I was looking at editing. I started editing the first episode of this not too while ago. But it's like, I looked at the tutorial for the mesh, the stuff in the, the mach this machine area, you know. And it did show pictures of what the thing looked like, so that's probably... The closest you'll get to me exploring that menu. <laughs> At least in a the video. There you go. And that was all the stuff we have. So. Let's just see. A final total of cards drawn in this series. Everyone in THH has been represented by a normal card. So we have normal for everybody. Along with the swimsuits of Kiyotaka, of Byakuya, and Chihiro, and Sayaka, and Genocide Jack. Look at this shit, it feels like I'm 15 again. And Celeste, and Junko Onoshiba herself. For two, we have practically, not everyone, but most of the normal cards for the Dengar 2 cast. We have Hajime's suit, we have Yakia's just unlocked, or Fakia's, or, you know, 
Fogami, as they just said. Thank you, Fumi. Oh god, that's walks among us. No, really, I'm Kazuchi. Fuck's sake, I hate wearing a swimsuit. I didn't even notice that before. Shows how often I pay attention. Should have this up my whole life. And then, yeah, I have recovered 10% influence per turn with that one. So I had that on Chiyaki as well, probably. I did. So there you go. I think that's one I just unlocked, so yeah. That makes sense. There's an Izuru as well, and that's all for that. Ultra Despair Girls has everyone practically, but just no normal for Kurokuma. He only has the Ultra rank because he's that special. There's Masaru's little swimsuit, that's cute. And then Kamaru, who has an awakening bonus of 20%. And then V3, where we have almost everyone in neutral on the normal rank. But we do have everyone thanks to picking up that Ultra card for Tenko. So just at the end there, we have almost everyone individually unlocked to do developments with in this game. Whoops, wrong button. Now we're still looking at those. Those swimsuits are important. They really are. Don't you, don't you worry. I'll have you know I'm a cutting edge robot. And then Corp, this is a story about my attempt at necromancy. Mm. What's that? No, they aren't part of the thing, right? They're not. It's like, hey, they talk about necromancy. See there. But... That was about like a ghost story, his specific event for that. So yeah, if I go to Karekia over here, just to look at it again. I did see a bunch of them. Almost every one of them. Yeah, his swimsuit one is about, like, you know, not necromancy. Just look at all them, wow. And there's, you know, Mikan swimsuit. <laughs> the important thing to mention. Yes, I know, by the way. I added it into the video. I know. I was mistaken. Keep that in mind. So yeah, I don't need to really experience any events again. But that is that for Misery Mondays, the mini-series. Thank you for joining me. And in whatever you watch next will be whatever you watch next. It was fun watching this, going through this. And if by the time this happens and it gets uploaded, you will probably see streams of this game go up. Who knows when they'll be scheduled, it's just an idea at this point. But I need to get all these videos edited and uploaded as soon as possible. So thank you for watching, I will see you in whatever you watch next, and take care, just take care. And have a wonderful 2022, by the time this goes up it will be next. Have a wonderful time. Goodbye! Hey, you forgot about Chapter 6, didn't you? Shit, he's got me there. Okay, fine. I might as well give some closure to this mini arc from within the miniseries. If you watched this far into the series, you should know that what I'm about to discuss is going to spoil a lot of things. If you're still thinking about playing V3 specifically for yourself, then you can leave the video now. You won't miss anything unless you return after finishing the game. With that being said, let's discuss the sixth chapters for a bit. Trigger Happy Havoc's investigation is certainly the least urgent out of the three games. You aren't thrown right in to figure out all the mysteries while the world around you is being destroyed. You simply climb out of the trash, talk with Kyoko, and then meet back up with the other survivors. And it sure does take its time to start up. In addition, Junko is a lot more subdued in this first game. She didn't have all the personalities that Goodbye to Sparrow and V3 gave her yet, and she stays as some of them for a longer time as a result. Goodbye to Sparrow is a lot more urgent than DHH with regards to the world corrupting around you, and Junko has a lot more entertaining line delivery during the trial. The aesthetics of the chapter are also really neat. All the bugs, errors, glitches, and meta commentary is fun to go for as well. Lastly, V3's last chapter is, without a doubt, the most plot dumpy of them all. That trial really is as long as people say, and there are a few parts where you're not even answering any questions for a while. It's just talking for a long ass time. And regardless, I appreciate how the revelations play into V3's overall theme well, and that it was never really a fight between hope and despair, but rather truth and lies. Even at the end of the trial, Samugi says it was a copycat crime, so there's no real way to tell whether anything she told the character was true or not. And that brings us to the chapter ranking itself. Which chapter 6 is the strongest, and which is the weakest? 
Well, in my opinion, I believe the weakest is Trigger Happy Havoc, even if the ending is the most grounded out of the three, which is then beaten by V3, and the strongest is Goodbye Despair. Don't get me wrong, the escalation of the reveals is on point for each game, and it's certainly consistent. I put two over V3 because it compounds the experiences of Trigger Happy Havoc onto itself in order to deliver some really good plot reveals. The fact that they reveal the memory loss so early in Goodbye Despair in comparison to THH, where you learn that in the last trial, sets you up for the reveal that this wasn't necessarily out of getting relationships removed or anything, but to help cure the students from them being run into despair. It's a double twist, and I think it's brilliant. Goodbye Despair is also a case where playing with the meta of them being in a game makes more sense in universe than with the meta of the Free Zen. Yes, Goodbye Despair is a game to us, the player, but in universe it still tangibly takes place in the real world, and they are in a computer program so that they can understand that it isn't who they are in the present. There's also similar reasoning for why I put Goodbye Despair over V3 for the Chapter 5 ranking, in that if we consider it on a scale from V3 to Goodbye Despair, on what points are good, there's a lot more leaning towards Goodbye Despair than there is V3, and it's that like an abacus, there are other parts that overpower which parts are better. So yeah, that about covers it all. How dare I go into so much detail in the sixth chapter when the other chapters only got simple text. I just felt that this is better than slapping GD, V3, THH on the screen in text. That just feels anticlimactic if I left them like that, even if that's how I did the rankings for the other chapters anyway. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this miniseries. It was a lot of fun to make, and I will see you in whatever happens next. Take care, and so long, farewell.